Welcome. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how to create a banner graphic for your online course using Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Many people believe that you have to have a, a high-end graphics tool to create nice uh, graphics for your online courses, and that's not necessarily true. Um, you can use Microsoft PowerPoint to create presentations and do layouts for slides those layouts that you create can be exported out as graphics that will plug right into your online course. So with that in mind you can create any size graphic by customizing the side the size of the slide. Now this is a standard kind of rectangular shaped slide. In this presentation we're going to create a banner. So we will start off by going to the design tab. Click on page setup and here you'll see this is the default at 10 by 7.5 inches. If you click on the, sli the si slides sized 4 drop down and select banner, it changes that to 8 inches by 1. So it's 8 inches wide, 1 inches tall. Um, I would really encourage you to reduce this down to 7 instead of 8 at the max, uh, maximum of 7. And the reason is it's much larger than 7 and, and your class may end up a little wide and may require students to, to scroll horizontally left and right to, to read some of the pages and content. So we don't want that to happen. For this demonstration, I'm actually going to go a little smaller than seven. I'm going to go with a five inches wide by one inch tall banner. Uh, that's the size that, that, uh, that I like for this, for this demo. And we're going to say OK. Now notice that our large rectangle is now a banner. Uh, which is again one inches by five inches. Now we want to make make it look good. We want to create a nice looking graphic, a nice looking banner. So let's do a banner for college algebra one and maybe in the subtitle we'll do the prefix and number for the course and all of your general editing options. If you click on the home tab this bold, the fonts, the size, the alignment, lists, shapes, all this stuff still applies. You can design your banner as you would normally work in PowerPoint. So here I can make my text large and bold it and take this prefix here and make it a little large and uh, maybe, let's see, let's go right align and of course I can move my boxes around. So after I sort of have a basic layout that I that I kind of like, then we can start working on the style. Let's click on the design tab and you have uh, themes already inside of PowerPoint and you can scroll through some of these and see if anything really looks good um, and I can apply these themes to my slide and you'll notice they sort of make things shift a little bit, but that's okay because we can fix that. Um, and let's say, let's find one that we like. How about, oh, kind of like that. College algebra. And we'll take this, uh, some of this stuff and try to tweak it a little bit so that mess with our layout. So maybe we can. Yeah, see so like that. Make it really kind of come together. Now this is great. I mean, the text looks good, but I would kind of like to have a photo in there, right? So we can go to Insert Picture, and in fact, we've already downloaded a couple of photos that were algebra related. Now, based on this kind of tan color scheme, um, I'm going to pick I think that. Actually, it might contrast kind of nicely. Actually, either of these. Let's go with the, this blue one here, and it's going to drop it in, and then I'll resize them down. So there, I've got a nice little photo included in it. Now, um, so once we've created a banner and we're satisfied, we're happy with how it looks, we like this banner, we want to use it for our class, we think it's going to make it look nice and our students are going to like it. Um, obviously, you're going to want to save your slide and all that stuff, but then you're going to export it out. Click on the Office button, Save As. here you can name the file but the most important part here is we're going to save it to our desktop you don't have to you can save it to wherever you're storing files for your class 
uh, for this demo I'm saving it to the desktop and hit this save as type hit this drop down scroll down and right here you'll see GIF, JPEG, PNG and TIFF these are four graphics files that are very common the most common ones for you to look at are GIF and JPEG these are sort of universal for internet content if your banner is mostly illustration or clip arts and text GIF will be fine uh, there are limitations um, the banner we currently have has a lot of finely graduated textures and things and we have a photograph that we've included uh, if you're looking at things with a lot of color variation uh, and or photorealistic designs go with JPEG so again GIF is for illustrations JPEG would be for more photorealistic in this case we'll select JPEG algebra 1 dot JPEG we're going to say algebra 1 banner and then also I can customize the file name if I want and then I hit save and we get an option for every slide or current slide only we only have one slide it doesn't make a big difference we can say current slide only however let's say that I did six banners or six learning modules in my class using the same structure and template all I'd have to do is say every slide click on this button it would actually make six JPEG images for me not just one so in this case so I just want the one slide I'm working on I say OK now what that's done is created right here on my desktop this JPEG file um, once you have this file this file can be plugged into your Blackboard course or your Moodle class uh, to make them look better let's take a look at blackboard first here's your online class let's go to the control panel and then under the course options let's go to course design we'll click on the last option for course banner click on the browse button and we'll find our image there it is on our desktop and we'll say open and then submit and wait for confirmation so now the banner's been added to the course. If we come right up here to the top level of the class, there it is. So I've created a nice looking banner quickly in PowerPoint, exported it as JPEG, gone to control panel, design, uploaded my banner, submitted, and there it is, and my class is looking good. Now in Moodle, it's a similar process. Log into my class, turn my editing on, and let's just add one right here at the very top of the course. We'll hit this edit summary icon and we'll center up and click on the insert image icon you'll get a pop-up window looks like this guy here so I'm gonna browse go to my desktop find my JPEG graphic say open upload and now that I've uploaded the file there it is it shows right there in the file list so I'll choose that file and We'll give it a little name. We'll say this is alternate text. So this is sort of what it says if some if the banner doesn't display. It says this is text instead. I could choose to put a, a border on it if I wanted to. One pixel border. That would be nice. We'll say OK. And there it is. And all I have to do is save my changes. And there we go. That's how it looks. So, there it is in Blackboard, Control Panel, Course Options, Course Design, Course Banner. In Moodle, we go to the Edit Summary, click on the Insert Image, upload it, select it, and put it in place. So you've now gone into PowerPoint, you've designed yourself a banner, you've exported it out as a graphic file to your desktop and published it to your online course through the learning systems. Thank you for watching.